If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello, Number Block fans. Today we have the Number Block Math Link Cube set, The Sheep Farm. So we will open it up, explore, and do some math activities. So here is the Math Link Cube activity set, The Number Block Sheep Farm. It includes 10 easy math activity cards and 89 pieces. So we're going to go ahead and open up the set and explore what's inside. So first the set comes with the instructions and inside it tells you how to set up all the number blocks and sheep and how to use the math activity cards. So next in the set we have the math activity cards that we can play along with the toys that are included. So we will do this at the end of the video. Next there are lots of stickers that are included in the set for the number blocks and the sheep. Then next in the set we have lots and lots of these little wooden panels for the fence to keep all the sheep in. We also have this gate that actually does open and close and click shut. And then we also have this little plastic piece which can hold in the math activity cards. Then the next pieces are some of these black little bobbly pieces which will be for the sheep's legs. Then we have 20 brown math link cubes. Then we also have six red math link cubes and these ones have flat surfaces on one side. We have six orange blocks and then we have six yellow math link cubes then we have four green math link cubes five blue math link cubes and six dark purple or indigo math link cubes next the set includes six of these little sheep bodies that we will attach later on onto the feet it has spaces on the side as well for their number stickers. Lastly is this little bag that includes all of the numberlings and a dice or a die. So we will now go ahead and put the stickers on. So first we're going to go ahead and do number block one and it comes with six red stickers. So we're going to do all of the red numberlings as number block one. So there is number block one with his face sticker on. And now here's number one numberling. So we have a number block one. And then we will go ahead and make the rest. So there we have our five number block ones. And next we're going to build number block two. So we're going to place two orange blocks together and then place a number block two face sticker on, on top of the first block. And then of course, we're going to put on number block two's number link. And because we have six orange blocks, we can make more number block twos. And there we have three number block twos. Next we're going to build number block three which has three yellow blocks and on the top yellow block we're going to place number block three's face and then on the middle block we will place number block three's juggling balls and then of course number block three's numbering and just like before we can make another one. Next we're going to build number block four. So we can only build one more of the rest of the number blocks. So we're going to place number block four's face on the top of his blocks. And of course, number four's number link. And lastly, we're going to make number block five. So here is the five blue blocks. And we're going to place number block five's face on the top block again and of course number five's numbering 
Next we have the six indigo or purple blocks. So we're going to arrange the blocks two by three because the stickers we have is for when six is in this form. Then we're going to go ahead and place all of six's stickers on. So we're going to put the ones with the eyes on the top, the mouth one in the middle, and all the dots everywhere else. And of course, don't forget number six's numbling. Then next for the stickers, we need to do the sheep. So first we need to put on the sheep's feet, which are these little black blobby squares. And then go ahead and place a number on each sheep. So we'll do number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and lastly, number six. So the last thing we need to do now is put together the fence. So first of all, we need to break all of the 20 pieces of the brown number blocks into two. So we should have 10 lots of two. We're going to use the gate and attach two of the pieces, one on each side, to the gate, as the gate has little, little blocks, so it can attach on the MathLink cubes. And then once these are attached, you can go ahead and attach a fence bit to the other side of the MathLink cubes. And then go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. And then you can also attach number blocks to each end to keep on adding fences. Or the book suggests to go round and make a rectangle so it's a pen for the sheep and now that we have our finished sheep pen we can now do our math activity cards so here is the first card and it suggests that we put all of the sheep into the pen and count them out so here is number block six number block six needs to open the gate so all of the sheep can come in so here comes the first sheep so here's sheep number one. Next is sheep number two. Sheep number three. Sheep number four. Sheep number five. And lastly, Sheep number six. So on the opposite side of the activity card, we need to get all of the sheep back out again. And we're going to match all the other number blocks to the corresponding number on the sheep. So this one red block will go with the red number one sheep. The colours and the numberlings are big help. So the next number block we have is number block two, and he matches the orange two on that sheep. Next we have number block three, and number block three's numberling and yellow colour matches this sheep. Next we have number block four, and number block four's numberling and green colour matches this sheep. Next up we have number block 5 and number block 5's colour and numbling match this sheep. And last but not least we have number block 6 and as it's the only sheep left in the field this must be number block 6. Also her numbling and purple colour matches the sheep. The next card we have tells us to set up the sheep in two columns of threes like this. So we will go ahead and put the sheep in. 
So here we have the sheep and number block six, just like it says on the card. Number block six also has two columns of three. Or we can show it like this. So now we have two threes. We have one three for the three sheep and the second three for the other three sheep. So two lots of three or two times three equals six. So just like before, we're going to flip the card over and let all the sheep back out with the numbers we found. So this first three wants three sheep. And then the second three wants three as well, equaling six. So that means we have two lots of the threes, which equal six. The next card is quite similar. It tells us to row our sheep up in two rows of three. And now that we have our sheep like the card, I have reorganized the number block six to look like it's on the card too. So this number block six has three columns of two, which can also be shown like this. And here we have three lots of twos. One, two for one column of sheep another two for the second column of sheep and the third two for the other lot of sheep. So three lots of two equals six. And then we can also show them go all back together. So here's our three lots of two. And now six. So just like before, on the opposite side of the card, I'm going to let all the sheep out with the numbers we've solved. So we have the first two for the first two groups of sheep, the second two for the second group of two sheep, and the third two for the third lot of the group sheep. So this way, we could also look at it like two plus two plus two would equal six. So this is the next card and we need to find the missing number in the addition. So we're going to put the three sheep like suggested on the card into the pen. So we know that there are three sheep already inside the pen. So here is number block three. So if we keep adding one to make six, we should find the missing number. So here we have three, and another one is four, another one is five, and then another one is six. So we've counted up to six now from three. So the missing total that we had was three. So let's go ahead and put the missing sheep back in. So we had three missing sheep plus three missing sheep equal six. Next we have this other addition card. So it's exactly the same as before. So on this card it tells us to put in four sheep and it tells us that we need a total of six sheep. So how many are missing? So we know that we have four sheep. So if we keep adding one to get to six, we know that we have four plus one is five plus another one will then equal six. So we added two ones to four, 
So the missing number is two sheep. So we now have six sheep and we know that now because we had four and we added two more to have the total of six. And for the last of the activity cards we have, we have the stacking sheep. So first of all, we're going to stack them all in a row in number order. And then I'm going to show you how you can use the die in this game. So first we have sheet number one and number block one. Then we add one more sheep on top of the other one and add another number block on top of the other number block. And then we have two. Add one more sheep on top of the sheep pile and add one number block onto number block two. And now we have three. Then add another sheep onto the sheep pile and add another number block one onto the number block three. And now we have four. Then add another sheep on top of the sheep pile and add another number block one onto number block four. And now we have number block five. Add another sheep on top of the sheep pile and then like before, add another number block one to the number block five. And now we have number block six. So to incorporate the dice into this game, I roll it and I got number two. And then I'm going to place in two sheep into the pen. We know we have a total of six sheep and now we have in two sheep. So how many more sheep do we need? So if we put in the remainder of the sheep to make six, so if we put in one, two, three, four sheep. So if we have two sheep on this side and four sheep on the other side, we know that two plus four will equal six. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed playing with the new number block math link cube sheep farm and doing addition and some multiplication with us. We hope to see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye!